Arlington Update is pleased to welcome the winners of the Sharing the Dream Art and Essay Contest. Uh, the winner of our art contest is Joshua Michael, and the winner of our essay contest test is Alexander Kyles. Thank you both for being with us this afternoon. Thank you. Let's start with the essay. Um, as the winner of the essay contest, you will read aloud your essay during the Share in the Dream Banquet on January 12th. Tell us your inspiration behind writing the winning essay. Wow, um, okay, I guess the inspiration, it comes from um, last year, a group of 12 of us, mm -hmm. we attended a camp during the summer called Camp Anytown, and the purpose of it was to destroy stereotypes and get rid of flash judgments and prejudices. And so we went and we had a blast, and so we decided to start an organization at our school kind of like that. And so we started the Unity Project last year, and we had a, a, an enormous genocide awareness program at the end of the year. And we had a Holocaust speaker come, a Sudan speaker come, and we raised over $2,400 to Doctors Without Borders. And so that was really cool. And so the main purpose of the organization is to get rid of um, prejudice and get rid of stereotypes, because that's what high school is. High school is a bunch of stereotypes. Mm -hmm. And so we provided an, an open forum because um, cause the main the, per the main reason of prejudice comes from the lack of knowledge, and so if you can educate people about what others believe, then they can understand why they feel that way about someone else's beliefs. And so when I saw this prompt, it pretty much was perfect. It was exactly what we had been doing all year, and mm -hmm. so I just put it on paper. Okay. Um, let's hear uh, the winning essay, if you will. Tell us uh, yeah. what you wrote. Okay. Walking through the halls at school, watching the horrific stories on the news, I cannot help but to step back, examine our world, and wonder how it should be. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. dreamed of a place where prosperity reigned, a world in which all of God's children could thrive harmoniously. So where do we go from here, chaos or community? Do we continue to watch our society spiral downward, or do we step up and mold a new place that truly does live up to Dr. King's standards? The chaos that exists around us is very apparent. At school, one cannot walk ten paces without hearing a curse word, and the television content now shown is quite shocking. As a high school student, I experience all of the pandemonium that directly affects me, but the chaos in the world is even more mind-numbing. In Uganda, children are forced to sleep in the streets to avoid being kidnapped and forced into the military. In India, some girls are born into prostitution. In the Sudan, horrendous genocide has ravaged their nation, killing over 20,000 human beings. In America, almost everyone instantly glances at someone and casts judgments. These, seeming, these seemingly harmless judgments contribute to the prejudice and stereotypes that can continue to infect our nation. But what are we going to do about the chaos? In order to overcome the confusion and hatred, we must create a community. The last five letters of this word are the most important, U-N-I-T-Y, unity. <clears throat> In order to triumph over our troubled world, we must stand united. We need to tear down all of the stereotypes and cliques ravaging our schools. How can we be united as a school if we hate the person next to us? Because the majority of hatred derives from the lack of knowledge, we must work to provide an environment where everyone, everyone can learn about others' beliefs. An adult once told me that we are a generation that's not easily satisfied. We strive always to have our way, and I completely agree. We are unbelievably determined when it comes to our desires. We will run any race, jump over any hurdle to get what we want. Well, let's want peace. Let's want unity. Let's put our determination into making our world a better place. A place without humans killing other humans for no reason. A place where prosperity reigns. Can you even imagine? I know it may sound hard, but we're a generation that's extraordinary. A generation the world has never seen before. A generation that's colorblind. A generation that can stop the prejudice and hatred destroying our nation. A generation who will march boldly ahead in the face of opposition. A generation that will no longer conform to the existing patterns of this world. Let's work together, united, for a common cause, a better world. This is our generation. This is our time. Let's make a difference and create a true community. That's beautiful. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful. Congratulations on a wonderful essay. You're also the recipient of a $1,000 scholarship. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your plans uh, beyond high school? Um, I plan to attend U uh, University of Texas at Austin and study international business and foreign affairs. I, I, wanna, I think I want to be in the UN as an ambassador, so okay. that's where I'm going to 
strive to be. Great. Well, tell us a little bit about some of your extracurricular activities right wow. now. Wow. Um, at school, uh, I'm in student council. I'm senior class president at our school. And uh, not to mention the Unity Project, like I mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. And I'm choir co-vice president, so I'm big into choir, big into theater. Okay. Um, oh, gosh, I'm involved in almost every single club at our school. It's, okay. it's pretty cool. And your family? My family, um, my dad works for Johnson Johnson. My mom works for Health South. Um, they've been a big help and inspiration to writing this. And great, great, great. Well, they should be very, very proud of you. Congratulations. Thank you. Our art contest winner is sitting here to my right, uh, Joshua Michael. Congratulations on being the winning uh, for submitting the winning artwork. I think we had over 400 pieces of artwork submitted. Tell us about your. Um, your inspiration into to what you submitted? Basically, I mean, as soon as I seen what the phrase was, it just a whole bunch of ideas started coming to my head. It was a matter of picking which way I wanted to go towards, mm -hmm. you know, portraying what I wanted to show. Okay. And so you decided, tell us how you came up with a depiction of Dr. King and the uh, Twin Towers. Tell us about that. Well, basically, you know, I wanted I wanted Martin Luther King somewhere in the picture, so I decided to put him as if he was looking over a, a scenery. And basically, the, the phrase is like a question, so that's what made me uh, want to put like a group of people just going down this long line, and they come to this little split in the road, mm -hmm. and they can either go to the left side or to the right side. And the left side is community, and the right side is chaos. And <clears throat> I had them going, and it's like they stop right there, and it's like mm -hmm. he's already done his part, so he's waiting on them to make the decision right. based right. on, you know, what he has told them okay. or whatnot. And um, on the uh, chaos side, you know, I, for the sky, I had like blue, orange, you know, like the ground is like destroyed. Mm -hmm. The Twin Towers, I used those because I know everybody has heard about that. Oh, yeah. And so, and then on the community side, I have like, you know, a nice sky, clouds, the Twin Towers unhorned, like a blimp that has a flag on it that says peace, you know, the sun shining. Like, there's nothing wrong on that side. And I put the chaos in between Martin Luther King and, and the um, peace side is because that's the only thing that's getting between him and what he wants, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful, beautiful. This uh, winning uh, art design will appear on T-shirts uh, that everybody will be wearing the the weekend during the holiday weekend. So uh, it's going to be great to see that to see your artwork there. How do you feel about that? Did you think that could ever happen? No, I didn't. I didn't even <laughs> think I was going to win. To tell you the truth, because I thought it was a, a bit a much. It was a lot of stuff on here to mm -hmm. be on the shirt at first. Because mm -hmm. normally they look for something just simple. Simple. Mm -hmm. But the message was so powerful that uh, the judges, uh, uh, I, I was there for the judging, and uh, the comments that were shared were phenomenal. So uh, congratulations. What are your plans beyond high school? Right now I'm just, I'm currently just a junior, so I haven't decided which college I want to go to. But I want to take art as far as I can take it. Okay. So it's not like... I mean, anything I can do, as long as it has something to do with art, mm -hmm. I would, that's, that would be good for me. Okay. You mentioned earlier that you've been um, drawing since you were two? No, uh, second grade. Second grade. Second okay, grade. <laughs> let me clarify that. And one of the first things you, you, you drew was, was what? Like Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, okay. Cartoons. <laughs> right. Well, you've come a long way, and uh, we can just only imagine where you might go from here. So uh, good luck. Good luck. We uh, look forward to introducing both of you all to the community during the MLK celebration. And uh, we thank you for taking time out of your busy holiday schedule to be with us on Arlington Update. Is there anything either one of you all would like to add? All right. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations. And uh, we look forward to seeing you during the holiday weekend. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay. For Arlington Update, I'm Cheryl Carpenter.